All right. Okay, this is the end result. The first one I cut that had this really nice even blue in it. As it's dried and been cut, it's streaky. It's got dark blues and white blues. I'm not sure if that's because of water trapped in the stone or not. I'll wait a couple of days for it to dry and see what happens to it. Yep. Here are the other two. <coughs> Quite similar. Quite, yeah. A little bit different. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Colour's different. There's more copper in that one. Yeah. But they've both got this Montmellorite clay in it, which makes them... Tricky to cut. Well, tricky to cut. You've got to cut around it if you can. <coughs> we end up with some of it in there. And the both of those had dynamite fractures yeah. in it. I didn't see the dynamite fracture issue in this one. But both of these ones did. We lost pieces off the back of this one, for example, if you flick that. So both of those small nuggets. Yeah. Yeah, you could cut them and get a little stone out of them. The other big nugget, I think there'll be more. The stone. other big nugget's really good. Yeah, there'll be more yeah. stones coming out of that one. Yeah, and there's quite a bit of that left. So yeah. we, just took, we just took two fine slices off it. There's only a couple of little bits of left of those ones that didn't crack up. Mm. And uh, there's probably another two stones there. Yeah, I think so. There we go, folks. And that was the stuff from Tosca. Tos Tosca mine. Yeah, so that's in Northern Territory. Tosca was yeah, about 30 kilometres away from Amaru. From Amaru, yeah. So the same sort of area. And um, that's some material that we've had to grade. Came out, of, a, came out of an isolated phosphate lens. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, folks.